Hi everyone, welcome to a Stamping to Share video. My name is Kay Kaltoff and today I'm going to share with you how to create these absolutely darling nugget jars. My downline, Mary Bellis, she's just a genius for thinking out of the box like this. And she came up with this design and I taught it this past weekend at Don Oshevsky's Holiday Stamp Camp. And all of the ladies love it. And I really hope that you'll love it too. Here's another cute little peek and you can see the back it's got little peekaboos to show the the wrapped nuggets inside and so you will need a couple of templates this is the first template you'll have a piece of very vanilla paper cut at one and a half by four and a half inches and you can see where you need to score it and then if you want to you can go ahead and notch your center out I'll show you why in a minute and then here's the second template you'll need and you can either use very vanilla cardstock or I use um, coordinating designer series paper to cut out my jar topper but that would be one and a fourth inches by one and a half inches and then you just score at one fourth inch from either side on the one and a half inch side this is that little actually I'll bring this whole works over Stampin' Up! has a new mat and it's great to um, you know pre-glue dot all your projects because they won't stick to anything it doesn't stick to the mat but the reason you want to put a little notch as I showed you in the center of that template is because when you're putting your jar on you don't want this this little spot here to show through like that alright so what we're going to go do is you have your jars, you'll cut them out, you'll stamp them and cut them out with the coordinating framelits that come with the with that stamp set which is called Perfectly Preserved. And so I use a couple of post-it notes and then I use my large oval punch and I just punch some some holes and and make cute little peekaboos for our jars. And here's one jar that already has its little topper on. And this designer series paper that you're seeing me use today is from our Orchard Harvest designer series pack in the 2012 Holiday Mini, which is also where you'll find the stamp set and the coordinating framelits. So we're ready to go ahead and put this together. And I'm just going to put this up at a 90 degree angle. because this is the little box piece that's going to hold your nuggets together there we go we're almost done with that and you can see what that looks like then we're just going to put our jars right on top of that you want to make sure that your jars are even with the bottom but don't go past the bottom if they go past the bottom you'll have a rocking nugget holder which in some cases might be desirable but probably not in this case so now again we're just putting it flush with the bottom and I already had my glue dots on there this whole project is put together with glue dots so it's a pretty easy project to do then we have our nugget pieces and I've just wrapped them with a one inch by three inch piece of designer paper Oops, let's get her in here correctly Wow, I'm really having, really struggling here this morning. There we go. All right, and here's the second nugget. This little jar holds four nuggets perfectly. Here we go. And then we need something to kind of keep them in the jar, so we have our little top over. And what I do is I've I've put some glue dots on each of the little flaps. And I just open up this jar and then I just press the sides of the jar while I'm pressing down on the nuggets and then we have our little topper and it's all ready to go then the next thing you're going to do is take a mini glue dot which I've somehow misplaced hmm here they are and then I like to use a paper piercer to grab my glue dots and I'm just going to set this down and we're going to put a mini glue dot right in the center of the back of my jar then I have about 15 inches of ribbon and I'm just going to take the center of that and place it on the glue dot and this holds my ribbon secure while I'm tying it into the bow on the front side so we're just going to go ahead and hopefully tie a cute bow we'll see how I do here there we go 
not too bad so far. And then you can see it does kind of want to slip, slip and slide a little bit, so we'll just keep tightening that up until it looks really cute, almost there. And then just to secure that so that our bow stays as nice on the front as it does in the back, I'm going to use one more glue dot. We're going to put that underneath the bow, underneath the bow, the knot of the bow. There we go. Now that will secure our bow. All right, then we take our ribbon scissors, trim up the ends, and as you can see, I have a cute little just for you that was also stamped with that same stamp set. And I just trimmed it out and backed it with some Lucky Limeade paper. And that goes right here. And we've just created the most darling little jar. So I hope you had a great time learning how to do this and that you will be making some yourself today. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. And thanks for stopping by Stamping to Share. Bye-bye.